Welcome all my crochet hook and friends and thank you for watching Heather's Craft Corner. I'm Heather and today we will be going over Crochet Basics Lesson 2, Slip Knot and Base Chain. For today's lesson you will need yarn and a crochet hook. If you need tips or recommendations regarding yarn and hooks, please see Lesson 1. The link is provided below in the description. Take the cut end of your yarn, make a loop bringing the cut end in front. Fold the loop down over the uncut strand. Weave your hook under the strand and pull. Let's see that again. The second way I will show you is to take that cut end again and make a loop by bringing the cut end in front. From behind the loop, take your fingers through the loop and grab the uncut strand. Pull through the loop to tighten the knot. Insert your hook into your slip knot. There are a couple of ways to hold your hook. The first is the knife hold. You hold it just like you would hold a knife to cut food. The second is a pencil hold. Just as it sounds, you hold it like a pencil. I use the knife hold. There are many ways that people hold their yarn. The key is to keep the tension even. I'll show you a few ways. The first way is to simply loop it over your index finger. You use the pressure between your index finger and your middle finger to control the tension on the yarn. The next way is to weave the yarn through your fingers in an over, under, over, under pattern. Another way is to wrap the yarn around your pinky finger, then loop it over your index finger. I prefer the first method, but use whatever method is easiest for you to keep consistent tension. When you make a chain, be sure you're not doing it too tightly. You need to make it a little loose or it will end up unable to stretch with your fabric. To make a chain, take your hook under the yarn, turn to hook the strand, and pull it through the loop on your hook. You are pulling the yarn over the hook. That's what the term yarn over means. The chain should be even and have a V on one side and a single stranded bump on the other. Keep making chains until you are able to do so evenly. If your chains are varying in size as you go, you need more practice. If you make your chain too tight, your fabric will fan out as you create the rows and the base chain will have less stretch. When done correctly, it should be even with your rows. I hope you enjoyed this video from our left-handed series, because even though they're a little backwards, lefties are people too. Be sure to tune in to Lesson 3 of Crochet Basics. Remember to support my channel by hitting subscribe and ringing the bell. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Happy crocheting!